What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the first episode in our coverage of No Pineapple Left Behind, which entered Kickstarter either today or tomorrow, depending on when I decide to upload this. It's by Subaltern Games, they made Neo-Colonialism, and this game is about educating children, so if you ever played Prison Architect, essentially this is Prison Architect minus the evil guys with shanks, and plus a bunch of pineapples that need to be educated by the municipal education system. And so the guy that made this game used to be a teacher, and this was a game he decided to make out of his frustration for the bureaucracy and bullshit that you go through as a teacher trying to educate a child in the United States. And so since this game is made out of spite, I respect that. If there's one person that knows spite and also pineapples because they're delicious, it's me. I respect the fact that he was so spiteful about it that he had to make a video game that was a rough metaphor for turning children into drone-like pineapples. So anyways, there's wizardry, there's witchcraft, there's pineapples, there's teachers, there's math, there's English. What could possibly go wrong? We're going to play the game. There's only two levels right now. There's a tutorial and a real level, and that's basically what they're giving you for free right now. You can go to their website and you can download the game if you want totally free of charge and you can help it develop by submitting feedback and make it better by contributing that way if you wanted to contribute to the Kickstarter I'll have that down below as well so let's check out no pineapple left behind shall we at first I thought this might have something to do with like a pineapple rapture or something like that we're like pineapple Jesus calls you what's in pineapple heaven I would assume you just hang out on a tree for a while that would be pineapple heaven not falling down to the ground and being chopped into a million pieces and eaten would be the dream of most pineapples, I would assume. I love pineapples, though. They're hella good. Your school must earn 5,000 Skrillas. The goal of South Bologna... Where's North Bologna? I'm noticing something missing here on the map. There's going to be a South Bologna. Why don't you just... Oh, there's a Benthic area. That's pretty cool. I wonder if that's a... Isn't that the name of the academy from Fallen London? Benthic Academy? Benthic is a naval term. It's for underwater marine biology and whatnot. But I don't know if that's a reference to marine biology, to like Fallen London, or what it's a reference to. I don't know. Lots of things use the word Benthic. So anyways, South Bologna, there is no North Bologna. I assume it's this little harbor area right here. And if I know anything about school districts, if you live anywhere near the harbor, your life is probably pretty brutal. I don't know. Where I live, if you live near the harbor, it's like super like wild and rowdy out there. So anyways, let's achieve, shall we? How many ducks? I don't know. I don't see any ducks right now. Zero ducks. So I know the basic controls, so I'm going to just kind of like mash my way through the tutorial real fast. You can skip most of it, but I only made it through like half the tutorial. So anyways, we can click and rotate by holding down control. You can do all the things you would expect to be able to do. What a beautiful little school. We got two bathrooms, male and female. We've got ourselves a cook area where I assume that the lunch lady would take her space in lunch lady land to make sloppy sloppy joes and then on this side I assume this awesome office is gonna be ours because we are the principal over here it looks like we already run some kind of I don't know we've got some pineapple trophies or something for being awesome cool I'm gonna assume that those are mine as well all my trophies let the kids know what it feels like to achieve we can help with the flow of time right now not only are we a normal wizard we're also a chronomancer so we've got no teachers right now I can click that to get rid of it the school bus is going to arrive. Oh my god, our school is on a floating island in the abyss. My lord. And we've got some kind of trans-dimensional school bus bringing us in, too. Just like, Pfft. Oh, and it makes fart noises, too. So, yep, trans-dimensional school bus that farts. Dropped everybody off at school. If I went to school on a trans-dimensional bus that farted, I would have liked school a lot more. Click on a pineapple. So, pineapples have grades, which you can see somewhere in here. And if their grades get good, we get paid more money. And then they also have humanity. When their humanity gets up to 100, they turn into children. And we really, really don't want because we're trying to brainwash them into being perfect little pineapples. This game is a metaphor for the school system sucking in the United States, which it does, by the way. If you've gone to public school, you'll know. Public school is... It sucks. It's the worst. And anyways, we can click on a child here. These are children who we have failed by not turning them into lovely little drones who will serve the Commonwealth. So they have things that they want to do. So she has a crush on Dannert Palmark. And Dannert Palmark is right here. I want to kiss. Oh, Numbean sent off. I thought it was just generic. I want to kiss. That is all I wish to do. I go to school every day and I try to kiss. But anyways, she wants to kiss Numbean sent off. If she succeeds, she gets five humanity for both children. We can't have that. There will be no humanity in this school. Not even a single bit. Work to live, live to work. That is our motto. I got a pretty bitch in copy. Oh, I got a copy machine? Yeah. That's one of the good ones right there. Maybe this is the teacher's lounge. And then my desk happens to be in the teacher's lounge. Am I grading papers as a principal? Why am I grading papers if I'm the principal? Shouldn't that be some other serf's job? Hmm. Either way, we don't want their humanity to be high. Our job is to make sure that they're never happy and they're always under the effects of our witchcraft. So we need to hire two teachers right now. We need a math teacher, and we need Mrs. Adler for English. And so we got Mr. Bensbley. We've got Mrs. Dichiren. We've got Mrs. Ad Adler. 
And we got Mr. El Clina. He sounds like he'd be pretty good at cleaning things, so maybe we can get him to be a janitor and a teacher. They get paid a lot for a teacher. I can virtually assure you a teacher doesn't get paid $300 a day in the United States. Not at public school. Maybe some of them fancy private school teachers, but most of the people I know that went into teaching are, like, broke and also just really, really spiteful. Generally grumpy about their job. Either way, we've got Mr. L clean because the system does not work, by the way. I'm going to bring that out right now. Their energy affects how good they are at their job. And so their energy level, actually, no, their salary determines their energy is how many spells they can cast a day because they don't actually teach anything. They just use witchcraft and ancient alchemy to make the children better. And so anyways, they aren't actually technically teachers. They're kind of wizards. But anyways, the more they get paid, the faster their energy comes back so that they're not constantly burned out. The lower their cost is, yeah, the more cost effective they are, but they probably won't cast spells very good to make the children into pineapples. So I'm going to go with Mrs. Dichi Ren, and we need, she's for math, and so we need a teacher for English now so we can talk good. So we can get on in now, and you know we're going to go down and talk on good because we got the good English class now. We're going to go with, I don't know, did I hire Mr. Spinchik? Hmm. I'm going to go with Mrs. Adesler. Let's just pay a lot of money. And so I think they go to class now, and if I pause the game, we can click on the teachers. Me? Yes, you. I clicked on you. Obviously, you. So anyways, we can... They teach by casting spells, and we can change their spells. The spells can misfire if the teacher has low energy. So when you click on a teacher, their energy's right here. Her current success rate is 100%, which is really, really good. She's going to go teach math. She's going to go teach English. And so can we raise... Oh, we can pay them more money a day. That's pretty cool. I can also just bottom that. Can I just make you into basically like a teacher slave? There we go. Teacher slave. She's got negatory laser and she's got televisor. I don't know what that means. I also don't know how much she was getting paid. I'm going to put her back up with what everybody else had because why not? Standardization. That's what schools are good at. We can also give them the sack or give them the boot if we want to. It involves a lot of kicking and maybe some foots and anal cavities, but whatever. We can change their spells around. Right now, she's got Televisor, which means that on success, they'll lose two humanity, and on failure, they will gain a humanity, and they'll lose grades over here. So as you can tell, this game is sort of... It's implying that if a teacher is successful at applying curriculum, your children will lose humanity and their grades will get better, but if the children fail to buy into your educational hokum, they gain humanity, but they get worse grades. So it puts humanity versus grades as kind of like this seesaw that are counter to one another, which is sort of funny if you really want to break in. I'm going to give her Memorizer, which I assume deals with also memorization and some sort of elevation increaser. And so that's good right there. Does Negatory Laser do anything? It's got ends a child's quest. So the child is like, I'm so happy right now. I'm going out and I'm self-actualizing. Like, no! Negatory Laser, get back in your desk. No actualization here. You be a pineapple and you do it well. And so they're all going to go to class. I think I need to change both of them over to mem yeah, Memorizer. They both need Memorizer. So there it is. They're both going to do Memorizer, and everybody in this class has an F right now. That is disappointing. Technically, on the first day of school, some teachers, I think that's what I put. I'd be like, you all have Fs right now because we haven't done anything. Technically, it's some, si it's some sort of weird ethereal F. Technically, you have the lack of a grade right now. If we really want to talk about zeros versus, you know, really the concept of a zero versus the numerical zero, yeah, we could get into a philosophical debate, but, yeah, you know. Let's just say you're in grade point limbo right now. Work hard to get under my limbo stick. And that's the, ooh, maybe I shouldn't say that to kids. Get under my limbo stick. A parent might walk in. <laughs> Never mind, that got weird. Good little pineapples, take your desk so the children don't go to class. Why aren't they in class right now? Do we just not educate children? We only educate pineapples? Hmm. That's weird. Spells will autocast at the start of class. Wait until block A. Oh, it's right there. Okay, so we've got this little timeline right here. So we've got block A, lunch, block B, and then everybody GTFOs. All right, well, let's wait a second. I think it starts at what? It's 6.53 right now? How come time is not... Oh. Let's go fast then. Yay! Oh, the children go to school, too. So the pineapples are good little students, and they go to school early. And so they get in their desks. Oh, we got two successes right there, I think. So, yeah, you can see it right here. So C plus and D plus. So that means that they lost eight humanity over here, and they lost eight humanity right there. That also means that their grades should have gone up some. So now this class has a D minus, which is, you know, that's what I aim for when I go to school. Sounds good to me. And they've got a C plus. Look at you little overachievers bringing home those report cards, making your parents smile. Like, oh, look, little Jimmy, you got a C plus. If a spell succeeds, the teacher gains XP. Use XP to unlock better spells and lasers. <laughs> All right, well, they didn't, did they get an XP right there or? Oh, one XP, okay. 
So that means that we can buy new lasers, anti-teaching anti wave, remove tease trait from a child, cheating bolt, plus 10 degrades or minus $300 if caught. Okay, so you can allow them to like manipulate. That happens all over the place with school districts. School districts in the United States super manipulate grades sometimes in order to like hide the fact that they're not doing very well. I've read a bunch of studies on it. And it's actually pretty incredible how frequently faculty is coerced into by the administration just sort of like doctoring things just to make numbers come out better so their funding stays up or whatever. And they don't get like reviewed by, I don't know, I assume that there's some governmental board that comes through and is like, hey, do better or else bad things happen. What are you going to do? Stop educating children if I don't do my job right? Close down the school? Have like an entire area of the town with ignorant children? I don't know. I'm too much of an asshole. I could never be a teacher and I could never deal with the administration. I just would not work for me. I get fired too quickly. I assume we should probably go with anti-teasing wave. Let's take that since we can afford it. Although I think ending children's quests is probably more important because some of these kids look like they had quests. Like her right there. She totally, are those the same thing as quests? Are social traits? Oh no. She wants to ask out 32157. Oh yes! Sexy, sexy 32157 with all of those non-generic attributes which differentiate you from all the other numerical children. Oh, it's because she sits behind him right there. She's like, mm, I want to get my mouth on that pineapple. That pineapple is so sexy. Let's go off to this side. I'm going to, I guess, buy her anti-cheating wave. And then I'll equip negatory laser. Oh, look. They're going and hanging out in the cafeteria. What does a pineapple eat, pray tell? I would assume that it would just be some sort of, I don't know, wheat gruel or something. Hmm. The teachers also act as the yard narcs. That's interesting. We didn't have that at my school. The yard narcs, that's what we called them anyway. That are yard Nazis. But anyways, yard narcs were the people that were like hired part-time to walk around with radios and just like snitch on you. I don't know. Teachers didn't do that at my school. Most of them were like 19 and just like didn't give a shit anyway. So most of the time you get away with whatever you were trying. Apparently we are speeding through the day right now at 1226. We have lunch at 943 in the morning? What kind of weird whack-ass school is this? Lunch isn't at 9.45. Oh, man. That reminds me when I used to work in IT. I, got, I was the early guy who got there at 6 a.m., so my lunch was at, like, 10. It was weird. I didn't like it. Were we successful? Where did my other teacher go, and why is she not in class right now? Why? What are you doing? Why are you not teaching right now? You should be in the class. What are you doing? She taught her class. Where are you at? Oh, I'm about to give you... You better figure... Are you stuck? Yes, you. Oh, man. So at 3.40, they all go back over to here, it looks like. Huh. Apparently, she just didn't feel like going to work today. I can understand that emotion. I'm like, mm, can I call in sick? I don't know. I am a hustler. I do like working, but you know what? I just don't know if I can deal with this right. Miss Adesler, what are you doing right now? Hello? Do you guys live on campus? Also, do the children live on campus? Hmm. Make money. I suppose we'll just fast this on. Oh, look, she wasn't stuck. I guess they just live on. Yes, get into the transdimensional bus. Hurry up. What are the te the teachers just poofed into nothingness? Holy shit! This is a school for special children with special powers. Five pi pineapples turn into children. Children turn into pineapples. None and none. You guys all have F's. Work harder. I had to pay people money. We have forty thousand dollars right now. Well, can I expand the school at all? What does this do? Everybody has F's in everything. We're not very good at our jobs. I don't know if you've locked in on that just yet. So they're all going to go to class. We get here at 645. Damn, that's early school. That's super early school. I can't imagine. you got to get to school at 645 in the morning. It's a whack-ass school. Maybe I should pay her more money. She has one XP right now. What do you have? You have zero. Did I not buy your super awesome laser of making children sad? Anti-teasing wave? No, you bought it. But you got. Oh, it's because you taught one extra class. Okay, so they got a C minus. We've got successes going on in here. Humanity is lost. How close is their humanity to turning them into pineapples? Are we doing well here? Why did my teacher not go to class yesterday? I feel like that may have... Hold on. Children... A teacher zap children to manipulate their feelings. Zapping lasers will cost energy. Left click a teacher and then right click a child to zap a laser. Do the children... Okay, so let me get my lasers out here. Let me get my lasers. So you got anti-teasing wave. Has anybody been teased? Have you been teased? Lately, you have personal traits. You're straight? Is that like a sexual orientation? Why are we talking about the sexual orientation of like second grade children right now? I don't know. It feels like an awkward thing to like apply to a small child. Maybe they're older. I'm going to assume that they're in high school. Let's do that. She's rich. She got the Skrilla. 
They all wear uniforms though, so I feel like this might be expressive ADD. Has no friends? They just put it right there. They'd be like, listen, this child's name is Numbean. There's no way you can have friends if your name is Numbean. It's kind of her parents' fault, but you know. What do we have here? Mardeus Hyken. Rejected? Huh. So how do I zap a child? I want to kill their quests. I want their quests to go away and just be destroyed. So negatory laser. Yeah, there it is. Negatory laser. I need to get rid of all of the children. So you come in here. That's right. I need to select you. And I want to get an A in English. That's a pretty good quest, though. Success drains her humanity. That's right. Arithmetic success makes you less of a human. So say if no pineapple left behind. So I want her to keep that quest. That quest sounds good. I want to get an A in English. Let's zap that one. That one right there. I want to ask out. You better get rid of that quest. I want to get an A in math. Hell yeah. Down with your dreams. Zappity, zappity, zappity. Pretty awesome. I like how we're just manipulating children's minds right now. We've got kind of this weird Gestapo-esque mind laser we can apply to their education. I like it. Let's... I need another teacher. Teacher! I need you right now. Not anti-teasing wave. That's lame. We need negatory laser on Rodrilla Hayeker. Yeah, no more dreams for you. Goodbye, I want to be a baseball player. Hello, I want to be a physicist. We'll delete that out right there. No, you don't want to ask out 987. You want to get good grades in math. You better sort it out. Good. Everybody wants to get an A in English or math. I am now happy with our progress as a teacher. Let us continue throughout the rest of our day. Let it be known that any who step out of line will then be brainwashed with lasers even further. Why, Mrs. DeChirin, why are you not teaching your class? There you go. Go teach math to the chitlins. They need it. There we go. Let's get them up to A pluses. Come on. I believe that you guys can do it right now. Oh, did you fail? No, success. Oh, she got a D plus success. What kind of whack-ass success is that? Did you even teach today? Or did you just like... I don't see my success rate. There we go. Memorize. Are you ever going to cast your spell? There she goes. So success right there. Success right there. I think our grades actually went down. Did we have a C plus right here? I'm bad at like making... I'm bad at making connections and realizing what's going on. Alright then. So I guess another successful day. Hanging out in class. Just making sure children have no dreams. Cool. Well, all y'all get up out of here. I'm pretty pleased with your progress right now. You've all got C's. We're going to fix it on up tomorrow. One of your teachers has enough XP to buy a spell. Oh, well, maybe I should get on that. Hey, teacher, how would you like to learn some new weird educational voodoo? Huh? Anybody? Educational voodoo. Cheating bolt plus 10 grades or $300 down if caught. So they're actually... We have unfriender Nova. We can end... <laughs> we can end a friendship. Gives plus 5 to grades. Man... We're just trying to destroy everything in here, aren't we? We are just not nice human beings. She's got 2 XP, so let's buy Unfriender Nova. And then I think we also need any... Well, what else do we have? Do we just have Pineapple Ray? Minus 10 humanity, but it costs a whole bunch. Okay, so where's the other teacher at? If she has XP, the other one probably... She has Memorizer. Quantification. Minus 20 humanity, 12 great. Ooh, let's go with that one. I'm going to try quantification in the next one. Math teacher's about to kill it. She's about to brainwash and bleach some children. Aw, yeah. I was one of these kids. I don't think that I paid attention at all when I was in school. I just kind of drifted my way through and was like, meh. YOLO. It'll probably work out. YOLO didn't exist back then, but it was essentially the 1990s equivalent of YOLO. Yeah, whatever. You can't make me do stuff and things. I'm going to go listen to Pearl Jam because I'm a rebel. No, we didn't have Pearl Jam. When I was in high school, we had... Who was big when I was in high school? We had, like, Blink-182 and, like, SR-71. We had, like, the front end of Nickelback, which was sort of odd. Who else did we have? We had, like, a lot of pop punk when I was at that age. It wasn't, like, a ton of rock. And the rock that was played was from hella long ago. It was all Metallica albums and stuff like that, so it was mostly pop punk. I still can't get over the fact that we're educating on top of this weird cork of land that's floating in Nowheresville. Like, it makes sense that the bus would teleport, given the location that we teach school, but it seems like recess would be really sort of like a zero-sum game here. Like, teacher, Timmy pushed Jenny into the ether, and I'd be like, ugh, all right, I'll get my anti-ether ray out real fast. Are we, what's going on here? Teachers, are you just like dithering in the background? You just gonna stay here all night, huh? That's what we're doing. Time doesn't seem like it goes faster when you actually put it into faster mode. Hmm. What is this? School quests. 
We have pin tasks. Yeah, there it is. That's the grades that I like to see. Humanity is falling off sharply. Yes, exactly the point of a school. We've got Mrs. DeCheeran. She's got the quantification ray that she's going to drop on people 420. Obviously, it's time for the teachers to blaze it. When are you guys ever going to leave? What is going on here? What is going on? Do we have a child left behind? Oh, we do. We have this pineapple right here is failing at being a good pineapple. Pineapple, go to your home. You're supposed to go over here, pineapple. Go to the bus. It's waiting on you. You've been here for like three hours after school. I know you like school. 37523, report to the bus. I command that you report to the bus right now. I think we may have been bug bombed. I have to sit here all day until this pineapple goes away. Let me sort it out. Well, anyways, I think our pineapple is dead set. We did too good of a job brainwashing him. He just wants to live inside of our school. So I'm going to stop the episode right here. And I'm just going to wait until this eventually stops. I don't know exactly what's going to happen here. So anyways, I'm going to wait out 37523 because, frankly, he really, really likes that end of the table. He's just staring at it right now. I don't know what he's got going on. And I'll see y'all in the next episode. I might do like one or two of this. There's only a couple levels, so I figure we'll play around with them. And I will see you another time. My name is Splattercat. This is No Pineapple Left Behind. I think we're just going to wait until this pineapple goes away. And then hopefully it'll all get better someday. I'll see you in the next episode, everybody. I do.